Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dawson and it is wonderful to have you with me here today. Our weekly overview for the week commencing the 24th of August. Here we are. August is flying by. And if you've not yet done so, go and check out the monthly overview for August 2020 and check out Hexagram 48, The Well. Very interesting month for us to pay attention to. Right, so let's recap last week. We had lots of change, lots of things going on, pushing upwards, lots of work, sweating it out, burning the midnight oil, but making huge progress throughout the week, and then dispersing and melting the big thaw, releasing things that have become stuck and rigid and locked. Right, so let's have a look at this week, the 24th of August. We have the hexagram, hexagram three, difficulty at the beginning. Now, this hexagram tells the story of change, the flow of change. What we're being asked to pay attention to this week is that a new beginning has come into our life, into our business. And the hexagram comes to help us understand how to deal with the onslaught of new things we have to deal with in a new beginning. A new project, a new relationship, a new customer, a new start of whatever it is that you're doing, something new brings with it challenges because we are doing something new, which means surprise, surprise, we are learning. <laughs> okay, so this week with something new coming into our lives that we're being asked to pay attention to, we have some fantastic tools to help us understand how to work with the new. The new beginning that is opening a whole new cycle of time. It's very exciting, but it can feel overwhelming. So think about what is the new thing that you are grappling with, that you are stepping into, that might be on the table for this week's focus. Now, the thing with difficulty at the beginning, with this particular hexagram, is I would like you to visualize what happens when a baby foal or a little deer is born. Okay, they bloop, pop out and within a matter of minutes, they are walking. They have to be able to get up onto their feet as quickly as possible because that tells the mother, tells the tribe that they are strong, that they are capable and they're going to survive. So that whole process is quite traumatic when you see these nature programs and you see that little foal and all oh, those legs are going and the legs are too long and you thinking oh please get up please get up and then they get up oh okay cool and they tot around on those little on those little hoofs and off they go they are good to go so this process is about getting up onto our feet as quickly as possible that we can enable ourselves to deal with this new beginning that we can be the newborns that are entering this world entering this new start and we can get onto our feet and get moving and get into what we need to do as quickly as possible. So think about what is a new thing you're stepping into? Where is the area where you feel like the little foal? You've been born into this new world. <sighs> Here you are, you've arrived. Now you've got to get onto your feet as quickly as possible. So there are two changing lines and they're both central. And the more you work with the I Ching, all the lines have particular meanings. The positions have particular meanings. So positions three and four, we have changing lines, are called positions of transition, okay? From the bottom trigram, right, to the top, they sit in the middle, right? And they're quite a tenuous spot because we're moving from one trigram to the other. We're crossing a chasm in the middle of the hexagram, okay? So they're gonna represent things where we've got a little bit of challenge that we need to work through for this new beginning we're in. So changing line in the third position talks about we are chasing a deer into the forest. You can imagine we're on a march. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're chasing this deer, we're on a hunt. And we chase the deer into the forest, apologies to the vegans and vegetarians, and we're chasing them and we are trying to hunt down this deer. It's a symbol, it's a story. And what happens is we run into this forest, maybe we're on a horseback and we ride in and we learn very quickly that we know nothing about this forest and this deer has disappeared, <laughs> oh dear. And we are now lost and bewildered. We've raced into this forest and we're now stuck. We don't know how to get out. We don't know 
where we are and we keep going around in circles. So this changing line says, if we are too hasty and we make the assumption that we know what we're doing and we race into this situation or into this issue quickly without a guide, we will get lost and bewildered in the forest and lose our momentum. So for this week, this thing that's new on your table, the thing that you are working with as this little fall needs expert advice. There's something about it where you need someone who's competent, a professional who's competent at what they do, maybe a mentor to help guide you through this forest. Okay, so part of this week is about recognizing where you need the guide to help you and saying yes to the help, okay? Let's not be an ego and say, well, I'll figure it out as I go. Because in this particular situation, in this particular week, that is not the case. There actually is a forest that is thick and can lead us astray. Okay, so don't wander into the forest unless you have a forest guide with you. The next changing line in the fourth position says, actually, in this situation, because this is new for you, you do need help. So we've got, we need help in the forest, but we also need to reach out and engage the help of others. Particularly where we feel the help coming to us or the help that's available is actually an enemy. So part of this week is recognizing where you think someone is antagonistic or is maybe not good for you or is not helpful or is an enemy in some way, shape or form is actually swallowing your pride and saying, maybe the way I'm seeing this situation, this person was help is not accurate to what is actually going on and reaching out for help. So in this week, the new thing that's on the plate, we're wandering into the forest, we need help. We're seeing the help as an enemy. We need to get over that and see things clearly and ask for help anyway. We need to put our pride in our pocket that we know everything and recognize that we actually don't. And I think if we work with this idea this week of accepting that because we're in new territory, we need help, I think your opportunity to accelerate, our opportunity to really maximize this new beginning this week can be absolutely fantastic for us. And of course, we have an outcome hexagram. Our changing lines transform the one we started with, hexagram three, difficulty at the beginning, into our friend, hexagram 49, revolution. Oh, we have had this one so many times over the last few months as we've been going through a tumble dryer of change, tossed upside down and things coming out and revolution and big cycles of change are part of this week too. It's bad. So what do we have to pay attention to? We have to recognize that there are parts of our lives that need to be overthrown. We need to let go of the old. We need to embrace the new. We have to embrace the revolutionary development of change, the transformation that is wanting to come through us. And yes, in our world, we are going to see the revolution energy. And certainly it's very dominant upon our earth right now. In this particular week, you can expect something really intense to, to well up as we are all part of this process of revolution. So don't be afraid of change. Embrace the opportunity to, like a snake, when time has come, that skin must go. Shed the skin and let's embrace the new that wants to enter. So new beginnings, difficulty, we need to ask for help, plus change, 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 and more change. <laughs> okay, the I Ching never gives us a dull moment. There's always something for us to pay attention to because we are continuously on a path of growth and development. This week is a busy week. There's lots to do. There's lots of help that's around us. We have to ask for help and engage with it. I look forward to seeing you on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for our daily stories. Catch us there. And of course, if you've not yet done so, go along to the link for this episode to go and enter the August I Ching giveaway. You can enter your specific question and I'll work with your question if you are the winning entry. And of course, if you like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, it really does the world of difference for getting our message out there, talking about the I Ching, and sharing it with a much bigger audience. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.